Hey everybody, it's Bill DeRosa from Talking Finger, and this is part three of three of our video series on Facebook's new personal profile timeline. All right, so now we're going to get into some of your actual privacy settings. And the way you access your privacy panels, you go up to this little triangle up here, click it, and it's the second one down, privacy settings. Now this I already kind of showed you. This is how you work the um, status updates here with the custom or sharing with friends and such. The next section here, um, I suggest you always just go on friends right here. This is like from some phones, cell phones, things like that. Uh, they don't necessarily have privacy selections on them. So when you make a post on your mobile device, uh, there is no choice for who you're actually sharing with. So this is actually how you control what comes in from outside devices or outside um, platforms that do not have any kind of privacy selection. So you want to do at least friends. Um, I would avoid public unless you are a public figure and everything you say is meant for public distribution. Otherwise, I would keep it to friends. And custom, of course, there we go. There's the same thing I showed you a little earlier. You can share this with wherever you want. I'm actually going to click friends here would be the custom. And then, again, I can hide these posts that I'm going to make from these people. All right, so I'm going to cancel that for now. So that would be your selection. And remember, this only affects things coming from outside of Facebook. All right. All right, so our next settings here, how you connect. Control how you connect with the people you know. Click here. Now, that's a little bit of a silly statement because some of these are people you don't know yet. For example, who can look up your timeline by name or contact information? Now, you see everyone here. I have a feeling this is going to end up changing soon to public because uh, everyone was the uh, old standard, but they've changed everything else to public, so I'm going to assume this will eventually too, but for now, just know that everyone is basically public. And if we click on here, so you can allow anybody on pr pretty much on Facebook to search for you by, remember earlier, you, you know, you put things in your profile like you went to a high school, like Longwood High School for me or the university. People can search for you that way, so that allows anybody to search for you. Friends of friends, that's, you know, I'm friends with somebody and they have their group of friends, they can search for me. So you can limit who actually can find you based on your current relationships. Um, and this one's a little silly because if they're already, friend, if they're already um, friends with you, they're not necessarily going to look you up. So kind of silly that one. So I leave this one to everyone because I want everybody to be able to find me. Who can send you friend requests, same thing. Uh, everybody can send me friend requests or friends of friends. Again, if they're already friends, they don't need to send you friend requests. Who can send you messages? Facebook has that uh, message system. I allow anybody to send me a message on Facebook. Uh, it doesn't mean they can see anything about my profile or anything, so I just leave it there. Who can post on your timeline? All right, this one is friends or only me. Obviously, only me. That basically locks out anybody from writing on your profile wall at all. So if you wanted to keep your wall clean for whatever reason, you're using it for maybe just business purposes or something like that, and or you don't want to allow people to post on your wall, you would click here and only me. That locks your wall out from anybody else making posts on there. Obviously, uh, most of us are going to have it on friends. And who can see posts by others, all right? Now, this is the one where you need to protect your friends. This is kind of an important one. Now, who can see posts by others on your timeline? If I have a friend who comes and posts on my wall, okay, it's up to me to kind of protect them. Uh, that means people outside of my sphere of friends will not be able to see the posts that my friends make. So I'm limiting who sees the posts on my wall by friends to only my group of friends. Remember, I have 454 friends, so that means anybody from the outside who comes in and posts there, um, the only people who will be able to see it are my direct friends. Now, again, this is completely up to you what you want. I can't direct you which one to pick. All right, so now we're going to talk a little bit about how tags work. Now, tagging is a very popular thing to do on Facebook. People tag their friends so that they can include them in conversations or tag fan pages, uh, all sorts of things like that, tag photos. So this is where you would control how you are tagged out in the Facebook world here. So we'll click here. All right, so timeline review of posts friends tag you in. Now, anytime anybody ever tags you on Facebook, it will appear on your timeline or on your personal profile. 
This is where you would turn it on, turn the review process on or off. When it's on, it means it won't automatically go onto your timeline. You'll get a notification to approve the tag to come on your timeline. It doesn't stop people from tagging them. And you'll see right here, tags may still appear elsewhere on Facebook. This only keeps it from appearing on your wall. All right, so I have mine on. And again, any of these settings, I'm not going to recommend which ones you use. It's, it's completely personal preference. I'm just going to walk you through what they mean. All right, so tag review of tags that friends want to add to your posts. Now, you make a post on your own wall. Somebody else comes in and wants to tag one of their friends. Again, it's up to you whether you want to put on a review process or not whether it automatically will appear on your wall or if it will get reviewed. Again, you'll get a notification up here saying you have to review this and at that point then you can approve it or not. So, I mean, my recommendation would be to keep them on, uh, but again, it's up to you. Now, maximum timeline visibility of posts once you're tagged on your timeline. So, if you approve a tag going on your timeline, since you are not the one who tagged you, okay, you don't have any control over the privacy of that post. I mean, it's basically someone else coming in and posting on your wall. So you don't have any settings for privacy. So this is where you would actually have to set up your privacy settings for things that you are tagged in, okay, on your timeline. And again, this works exactly like everything else I've showed you so far as far as picking and choosing lists or custom or anything else, okay. Tag suggestions when friends upload photos. Now you've seen that you upload pictures or a photo album up to Facebook. And it gives you all these snapshots of suggestions. It does a little close up on a face and says, is this this person? Now, you can control whether people see that or if it will suggest to other people photos that you're in. So say you're at a party, a bunch of people take a lot of pictures. You happen to be in a bunch of them. When they upload their photos and they're friends with you, it may give them suggestions of you that th these people are you. Again, not going to tell you whether to turn it on or off. It's up to you, okay? Same thing here. Friends can check you into places using Mobile Places app. Now, if you're not familiar with what Mobile Places is on Facebook, on the Facebook app, there's a, a little um, icon that's called Places, and it's a check-in service. When you're at a location, usually a public place or places that people have made up, people can check into it. Well, what this is is other people can also check you in. So this is kind of a privacy issue here. If you don't want people to know where you are and you want some control over other people telling people where you are, um, then this would be suggested to put off or disabled. Okay, That means people cannot just check you in on Facebook places. All right, so now next we have apps and websites. And you'll see control what gets shared with apps, games, and websites. So if you play Farmville or your friends play games, um, or anything like that, or you interact with some websites that are partnered with Facebook, this is where you control these privacy settings. Now you see the first thing, apps you use. So these are all the things that you've connected with, and you can go into an app section to go see them, or you could just simply click edit settings. And this is basically where you control everything. So, you know, I've connected with a lot of these apps and uh, things on Facebook here, and I can control exactly what they see or what they share about me. All right, so you can see this one here, and I actually want to go to an example that has ones that I can remove here. Okay, great, this is a good one right here. All right, so slide share. I have this as a plugin on my Facebook page, okay? And there's certain things that you'll see here, require, require, require. require. There's certain aspects that slide share has to access in, other, in order for it to function, all right? Now, what you can remove are the things that aren't pertinent to it or, or aren't required right here. So post to Facebook as me. See, you can read right here that they can post things. Uh, so when I go there and I post something, these sites typically ask, do you want to post it to your Facebook? But some of them will do it automatically. So I like to actually kind of remove these ones. Uh, access to my contact information. Again, if there's a remove there, I just suggest you remove it if you can. Less data access, this basically says the last time that uh, you it has actually grabbed information from you or you've given them information, so it's been a little while. Now, here's where it gets interesting here. App activity privacy. Who can see posts and activity from this app? Again, it works exactly like everything else. Um, you can pick if it's going to be completely public, friends of friends, etc. I'm not going to tell you which ones you use. I usually recommend on apps 
and websites and all these other ones that are going to be all the way down here that you just keep it to friends because that's typically the safest thing right here. Now, customize will work exactly like everything else I've showed you. Make this visible to and hide from, okay? All right, so now how people bring your info into the apps they use. And if you read this carefully, use a setting control the categories of information people can bring with them. So you want to always have control of what people are sharing about you. So in this setting right here, you're going to control exactly what pieces of information. Now, there's a bunch of different games and apps and websites and things like that that ask, hey, uh, you know, is you, what about this about your friend or that about your friend? You have the choice of exactly what you want to share with those outside apps that other people can use. So, you know, whatever you feel like sharing that you think if, if it's safe or not to share, like my photos, I disconnect. Now, my photos are protected in another privacy setting anyway, but you never know if you missed that one or two photos that you didn't put privacy settings on. So I wouldn't want to share things like that. But again, completely up to you how you do this. Okay, so cancel that for right now. Instant personalization. And I'm going to show you what this means. I'm going to close that because I'm going to explain. But a, a video does pop up if you want more detail. But um, Facebook has partnered with a lot of different websites and such like Yelp, TripAdvisor. You'll see some of the ones here, okay, that, that are connected. Now, as soon as you go there, if you're signed in on as your Facebook page, it automatically recognizes, it's kind of like background algorithms and stuff, uh, they recognize that you're on Facebook right here. So it grabs some information to personalize the experience. You know, like for example, Bing, when you go there and you, uh, when you go onto a Bing site to do a search and you're logged into your Facebook page, it actually already has the, personal in, the, um, the personalization done for it so that you can get friend recommendations, things like that. Again, up to you whether or not you want this to be enabled. Uh, if you're concerned about security or privacy on these things, then just disable it. I leave mine enabled because it, it only does access the basic information it needs uh, just to get a little snapshot of you. So it doesn't get too deep, but again, you never know. And if you don't feel that safe, just disable it here. So I'm actually going to click the back button up here again. All right, so next one is public search. Now, this one, again, it's up to you. People, I keep mine as enable public search because people do use Google and Bing and Yahoo and all these other things to search for your name. They might type in, like, from my example, William DeRosa in Google, all right? Um, whether or not my Facebook profile comes up in that search is kind of controlled right here. Enable public search. It takes a little while. I've heard that this can take 24 to 48 hours or something to actually enable or disable. Um, but again, up to you whether you want to enable this public search or not. Next section here is limit the audience for past posts. And because you've upgraded to timeline now, or you will be upgrading to timeline, it's a little difficult to go back and figure out every single thing because of some of the settings have changed on privacy. This is, uh, and I don't know why they have it hidden in here. They should have kind of made this right up front for you to do, but use this tool to, to limit what has been shown in the past. In other words, instead of going through your entire profile to find out what you marked as public or everyone versus friends of friends or, you know, you didn't have lists before, things like that. This kind of gets everything from previous dates from when you've actually upgraded to timeline and makes them all just change to friends. And that's the important part right there. If you click limit old posts, which I already have, um, and this is what I actually did, everything that you've done before this will change over to being visible to just friends. So that'll do it. Thank you very much for watching our video series on Facebook's new personal profile timeline. If you have any kind of questions, comments, uh, any tips or tricks to help us out with timeline, feel free to visit our Facebook page. It's facebook.com forward slash talking finger. Again, thanks a lot for watching and have fun with the new profile.